Georgia has won the toss, the Bulldogs to receive, and they send Herschel Walker back deep. As the freshman, he's running back kicks. And his partner, number 19, Scott Werner, one of the best in the country at running back kicks. So, Buck Ballou, the junior from Valdosta, coming back from a broken ankle suffered last year. There, of course, is the sensational freshman from Wrightsville. Jimmy Womack, good fullback. Amp Arnold, fine speed, the senior from Athens. And Lindsey Scott on the other side, number 24. This is the 19-yard line. Men up front, Jeff Harper, the senior, number 66. From Macon, Blackwood, number 77, weighs in at 247. Joe Happy starts at center, though Wayne Radloff will see a lot of action there, too. Tim Morrison is a good one from Live Oak, Florida. Nat Hudson, perhaps the best of their offensive linemen. And the tight end, Norris Brown, 88, 6'3", 220-pounder. I call it seven from the 19-yard line on the draw. We see Walker for the first time out to the 27-yard line and close to the first down. Fernando Jackson, number 49, made the stop. The Gators, who have allowed only one touchdown in their last three games, Golden Galloway, Fisher in the middle, Doc Lucky bench presses 600 pounds, the right tackle. Little and Jackson are their key men, the linebackers. The secondary has been a bit suspect of late. Groves would be the best of the lot. Third and short, give it to Walker. He gets the first down to the 28-yard line. Fernando Jackson makes the tackle. Here's 16 of them starting, keeping their poise, punching out a first down or two until they kind of get the feel of the game. Our first look at the real Ugga. That's Ugga <laughs> 3. My all-time favorite mascot. <laughs> Love that pup. First quarter at the gate of Bowling Jacksonville as Walker sweeps to the right. Gets outside the 35. Look out. He's past midfield and he's got a blocker. Cuts to the inside. Herschel Walker. There he goes again. And with 13.09 to play in the first quarter, the Georgia Bulldogs out in front of Florida by a score of seven to nothing. And it's watch from behind. You can see Walker cutting up and watch his speed going down the boundary. Stiff arms one gator back. Now it's just a foot race until he gets to the safety man, cuts back inside, and it's just a piece of cake for him. And he's just a freshman. Brown. Number 88 on the right side of your line. He's the one that's responsible for springing the, blo the block. Number 88 is blocking Golden, number 57, who is a very fine football player himself. You can see Walker just ignores the defensive backs. Al, he just act like they're, uh, he's oblivious to it. It's 72 yards at a touchdown. Collinsworth set to the right. And Pease immediately goes to the air and out to the 28-yard line to Spencer Jackson, number 89. There is Peace, who will not turn 18 until next Tuesday, the freshman from Lakeland. The steady one, Jones, was a tight end last year. Their top tailback is Doug Kellum. We will also see John L. Brown quite a bit. There's the All-America wide receiver, Collinsworth, and the man who caught the last pass, Spencer Jackson. Dino. Jones, the sole running back, off the play fake. Peace setting up, throwing, and it's picked off at the 40-yard line. The deflected pass, and the Bulldogs are right back in business at the Florida 41. Mike Fisher making the interception, number 31, a senior playing before the home folks. He lives here in Jacksonville. Well, that's a tough break for Florida because Peace is right on target to the receiver. The ball goes right through his hands, bounces up against his chest, and Fisher, 31, a senior, and Georgia has three, four seniors in their secondary. Walker, the eye back, comes to the short side of the field and just pulls over a man to get the first down to the 30-yard line. Vito McKeever made the stop and also paid a bit of a price. Ready, and we haven't played three and a half minutes. First down at the 30-yard line. First man through is Womack, who gets about three to the 27. Try to fly to 26, and Georgia leading seven to nothing. And Buck Baluda put it up for the first time today to the 23-yard line, and the ball is loose there. On the far side, and Florida recovers. To the Gators. He's just going to raise up and throw the ball to Arnold very quickly on a quick pass. Now Arnold catches the ball, and while he's trying to run, this normally happens when you don't protect the ball and you're trying to run. He's going to catch the ball, try to come back inside, but Vaughn slips the ball. First down for Georgia at the 21-yard line. Jones is the running back, but again going to the air is Peace after the 36-yard line for Florida's first first down to Kurt Garrett. 
Number 28, a junior from Blountstown, Florida. On the option, to Jones. And they run him out at about the 40-yard line, a gain of three or four as Mike Fisher was over there to make the play. The running back is Jones. Peace looking to throw and then keeping. Getting to the outside and stepping out of bounds at the 45-yard line for a gain close to five. It'll be third and a yard and a half. Chris Welton drove him out at that point. 45-yard line. And they give it to Jones, and Jones is racked up as he crosses the line of scrimmage. Going to be very close to the first down. It's the referee, and you take a look at the rest of the men working the game on a balmy day. Just perfect in Jacksonville. Well, it's a little warm, Al, and I think that both coaches are going to have to be a, a short of a first down. As we... Keeps the soul back, number 30. And Peace will keep it himself and burrows for the first down. Peace back to throw. Over the middle. Man open at the 30-yard line and the first down to Tyrone Young, number 10. Jeff, watch this. He's throwing the ball right down the middle. His vision was impaired, but Young is right on target, and another big first down for the Gators. Back, number 30. Peace keeping. And tackled by Eddie Weaver, number 61. I wondered when Eddie Weaver was going to show up. He 7.20 to go in the quarter. Georgia leading 7-0. Peace on a deep drop, trying to set up the screen, throwing to Jones, but he had no blockers out in front. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line after a minimal gain by Dale Carver, number 96. This year, setting up a 40-yard attempt at an angle to the right, and the kick will be no good. It is good, I beg your pardon. He hit a wobbler that looked like it was going to spin off to the right. It wasn't the most artistic kick you've ever seen, but it got the job done. They'll take it. Georgia leads 7-3. 7.07 to go in the quarter. Virgil Walker straight through the middle and hit immediately, but still is able to get a yard or maybe two. Second down, eight. Walker slips a couple of tackles, gets out to close to the 21-yard line where it'll be third down and two. Mark, seven carries, 100 yards, six time this season for him, but Florida comes up with a big play. Ron Coleman, number 92, made the stop. 3.20 to go in the first quarter. Ballou, rolling, throwing over the middle after the 32-yard line to Clarence K. Okay. Give it to the big man, Walker, tries to get it himself, and I think he did with his forward progress to the 34-yard line. Just put it. Lindsey Scott, wide left, Amp Arnold wide to the right. The play fake to Walker, going straight over the middle for Lindsey Scott. He's open at the 45 of Florida, and a first down at the 44-yard line. On the pregame show, and it's Scott going over the middle here. One thing that we're going to notice throughout this ball game is the linebackers cannot get this deep because of Walker, the threat of Walker running the ball, and Lindsey Scott ran a perfect route. He's a great athlete, caught 70 passes in the first two seasons in an automobile wreck and hadn't quite fully recovered from last summer's summer accident. Five yard line, second down and 10 is Buck Ballou, who's three for three, rolls to his right, then keeps, and Ballou gets to the 34 yard line and close to a first down. He's just shy though. Going to have to some because of the Florida defense. Ballou is rolling right at us, and you see him break containment. One thing Florida must do is keep him contained. They don't. Ballou gets outside, watch him run out of bounds. Very wise, he's been close to do that. You cannot get your quarterback hurt. A good one like him because they don't have any experience and pull behind him. There's also a penalty, and that's going to give Georgia the first down. We had a personal foul call on Robin Fisher. 114 yards, a minute into the second period. Ballou throwing. And complete for the touchdown to Ronnie Stewart, who turned around and there's a flag down. Flag down back at the 17-yard line as Stewart goes in for the score. But let's see what we've got. It's against Florida. The touchdown counts. And he's going to fake and roll out and try to get the, ha the fullback out in the flat open. Uh, you can see that, he, that uh, he throws in behind the receiver. 
He turns around and makes the reception. Georgia's back up on top by 11 now. 13-39. Remaining in the first half, 14-3, Georgia. A sustained march for the Georgia Bulldogs. 11 plays, 76 yards, eating up 5-17. The first in the AFC Central at 9 Eastern time. Onside kick attempted by Robinson. The ball is loose at the 30-yard line, and Florida has it. That was a very fine call by uh, the Georgia coaching staff because kicking from the opponent's 45-yard line, you kick it in the end zone anyway, and you get it back to the 20. That's no good. And if you try an onside kick, you only lose 10 yards, and you get 40%. And Florida from the 29-yard line. Georgia leading 14-3 early second quarter. Peace under a lot of pressure and a fumble. And we'll wait for the signal. It's Georgia. Eddie Weaver, number 61, was the man who got there to recover it. Wants to run with the football on a rollout pass. He's got to tuck it away because all the linemen are going to be trying to strip. Now you're going to see Weaver come in. Excuse me. Uh, I guess that was, uh, couldn't tell who stripped it, but Weaver 61 is going to recover. Yeah, J Jimmy Payne, very definitely. On second and seven, it's Walker again, moving to the outside and getting to the 16-yard line, setting up third down and about three, because as of the moment, now, counting today's turnovers, third and four, Ballou throwing, intercepted at the seven-yard line. Back to the 15 to the 20 and out to the 30 yard line. So Florida gets the break they need as Ivory Curry, number 26, turns in a big play. And he's going to be going in and out. And Curry is going to cut right in front of him. Just an excellent defensive play. He was playing man for man. And uh, actually Arnold did not make Curry misread his intentions. And Curry just jumped right on him and covered him tight and look at him run with the football. A big break for Florida. Out to the 29-yard line, exactly what the Gators needed. Plowing ahead, gain of five. Out to the 34-yard line, Jones remains in as the sole running back. Peace throwing out to the 45-yard line to Tyrone Young. And the first down for Florida. Young goes in motion. Peace, throwing to the near side, complete to the 40-yard line, and a first down to the 35 as Chris Welton made the tackle on Tyrone Young. One number 10 made the stop on the other and also pushed him forward about six yards. Two seconds. Second down, 10, Florida at the Georgia 38-yard line. Bulldogs lead 14-3. Peace under a lot of pressure this time and incomplete. James Jones, the intended receiver, but Peace was... Moving back for his life that time. As a man oh, uses hands to leave the sideline. The, the rusher gets the side of him, pushes him something down. like this. So the 39 left in the hand. Good protection this time and sets it up and throws over the middle to James Jones, who gets down to the 37-yard line. And it will be fourth down and close to 10. Never be setting up the quarterback. Now drops back. Still, they're going to use motion on a punting situation. And they fake the punt. Peace takes the snap and then throws to the 31-yard line incomplete. John L. Brown, number 14. Has watched his team relinquish the ball. And Herschel Walker on first down. Takes it out to the 42-yard line. And Fernando Jackson, number 49, makes the tackle. Georgia Tech needed was a visit from the Irish. Through the middle, ball is loose, and Florida has it at the 46-yard line. So two teams that have not been turning the ball over very often this season have all of a sudden developed fumbleitis. Go with a double slot and send Young in motion to the left this time. Peace on the reverse to Collinsworth. He has some space, the 45, the 40, 
and to the 33-yard line where Mike Fisher takes the tackle. Now you've got to get the ball to your best athletes, and obviously Collinsworth is. It's a lateral back from the quarterback on the sprint. Watch him run with that football. He was a fine quarterback in high school, played quarterback as a freshman. Quarterback in Florida. First down, 34-yard line. Through the middle, and a hole opening up for Jones, who gets down to the 22-yard line. Scott Werner made the tackle. Georgia, 22-yard line. He's on a straight drop and look out and has it knocked down. Four Bulldogs that time just came roaring through, and Frank Ross was the man who tipped it, number 48. Eight out of 17 for 91 yards. The quick out complete to the 15-yard line to Collinsworth, and he gets to the nine. Jeff Hip ran him out of bounds there. Peace throwing it up for Collinsworth. Touchdown! Well, you saw two men matched up there who are going to make some All-America teams. Collinsworth, the wide receiver, Werner, the cornerback, and Chris wins that one-on-one -on -one battle. Four key drive and then coming back all the way. On the right of the screen, Werner's playing man for man. He's shielding all the way, and the receiver's not supposed to let Werner know where the ball is until the last minute. And then he was able to out-jump Werner, ball the touchdown, and put Florida right back into the game. We'll be right back in just a minute. Knocks up Jones in the game, and he goes to the left. Scott to the right as Ballou goes deep, looking for Lindsey Scott. And Scott, does he make the catch? No, he was out of bounds at the 29-yard line. What to see Lindsey Scott come down with his foot right on the boundary. That is out of bounds. He has to catch the ball in bounds with one foot before it's a legal play. You'll see Gillum trailing him all the way. It was a great you mm. see the ball, his toes came down right on the white line. It's incomplete. In the 10. Peace continues to put it up. Throwing over the middle. Complete out to the 45-yard line and to the Georgia 48-yard line to Spencer Jackson. In the now familiar double slot. And Peace takes his one look and throws deep down the right sideline. And incomplete. Intended for Kurt Garrett. Scott Werner covered. See Warner go up with him, but uh, the receiver came down just on the boundary. Out of bounds, incomplete. So they take a timeout. Let's look at the official. You can see that he's right there. Both feet were in bounds, I believe. Let's go back and look at that again. Second down, nine. Pitch it to Walker. To the left side, has some room, 30-35. And after the 39 for the first down, where David Little catches up with him. It's in the Walker is down. I'm sorry, Arnold, wide receiver, is hurt. We're going to look at it again. The key again to this play is the block by Womack, 25, the fullback, out on the cornerback, and the block by Brown inside on, on the defensive end opened up a nice hole for Walker. The football team in Arkansas. Uh, Triple, but uh, they, I'm sure they're giving a great effort and don't count them out. You can always hope it's a typo. Third and eight from the 40-yard line. Ballou scrambling, looking for the first down now. Has it and gets to the Florida 44-yard line. Fully recovered there. From the 45, Ballou going deep, looking for Lindsey Scott. And it is picked off at the 21-yard line. Vito McKeever, number 36. You're going to see the ball thrown deep across the field, all the way to the boundary, and it's a good tight spiral, but McKeever leaps. That is a sensational play. Wayne Peace, the freshman quarterback, keeps it in the air, and Young spins his way out to the 40-yard line for a gain of 19. Florida, first and 10 from their 40-yard line, a minute 44 remaining in the half. Peace trying to get out of trouble and throws it away. Ready when they have full offensive player. They have for you. 15 yard penalty. Who plays it down? First down. As Eric Russell, the Georgia defensive coach and assistant head coach, been with Vince Dooley all of his career. 16, Florida from the 31 yard line. Peace. Rolling. 
And why does he go out of bounds? <laughs> That's a good question at this point. The 37. Well, when you play a freshman quarterback, he's going to do some good things, and he's going to do some things that are not so good. Like he carries the ball. Belou's going to put it up. He's going deep for Lindsey Scott. But he is well covered, and it's incomplete, and that will do it for the first half. Yeah. Curry, Wayne Pease, James Jones has that's been that's the sole Curry. running back. Forget Kellum. He hasn't seen very much action at all today. And the men up front. And again, they line up in their double slot offense from the Georgia defense. Robert Miles is the left end out of Montgomery, Alabama. Number 83. Jimmy that's Payne's a good one. He had a fine first half. Led the team with six sacks coming in. Another good one is Eddie Weaver. Tim Crow on the right side out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Pat McShay has done a good job this year. Been flying where Jimmy Payne made the stop. Check out the rest of the Florida de defense, or the Georgia defense for you. Frank Ross, one linebacker. Nate Taylor, fine one. Number 47. There's your All-America cornerback, Scott Warner. Mike Fisher had an interception in the first half. Chris Welton, the rover. Not big, but very mobile. Does the job. And Jeff Hipp has intercepted seven this year. Peace turns, throws, juggled, and incomplete. Intended for Tyrone Young, number 10. And Womack, the fullback. Stewart has seen some action there, too. And the Georgia offensive line. We're going to have to check out A.M. Arnold, though. Who stay honest. Golden, the left end, the senior, number 57. Galloway, out of Brandon, Florida, the junior. Robin Fisher. Doc Lucky, they say he bench presses 600 pounds. Val Brown, he's a defense, David Little, the great linebacker, number 51, and his compadre is a good one, too, the team's second leading tackler. Bruce Vaughn in the corner, 47, Sonny Gilliam, made a couple of good plays in that first half, Kyle Knight, the cover of the fumble, the rover, Tim Groves, perhaps the steadiest of the force in the Chuck Jones in motion, and they pitch it to Walker, Herschel gets the first down, as he moves to the 48-yard line. Did it on his own, basically. Robin caught it, tried to make a first down. The first time you have possession in the second half. <laughs> it's a good promo right there. Yes. <laughs> Georgia leading 14-10. Walker will swing it back the other way. Trying to get to the outside. And Walker down the sidelines gets bumped out of bounds at the 33 the other way. Well, you would think that would be just a freshman play for him to stop right there and then go all the way back, but he knows his own abilities, and they are phenomenal because he outruns everybody, and there's ball number 47, cannot begin to get him down, and finally, he's knocked out by 24 Knight. First down, Georgia, at the 33-yard line, pitches to Walker again, and he gets down to the 27-yard line. Val Brown, Made the stop. Ronnie Stewart helping to spring him that time. Second down and a long four. And Ballou pitching it to Walker. Walker inside the 20. And down he goes at about the 12-yard line. Tim Groves made the tackle. When you tackle Walker one-on-one, -on -one, you do pay a price. <laughs> yeah, he got to come off and block as Herschel Walker. Look at this for the freshman in this ball game. Beginning of the third quarter, Al. Ballou giving it to Norris, who gets the back five. They're like Superman. They're already playing pretty darn good. Second down and 11. Ballou gets to about the eight-yard line. Where Jones in the slot to the right. Scott outside him. Ballou looking that way. Buck going to the end zone with it. And incomplete. Broken up by Ivory Curry. Goal. The NCAA record is 56 by Tony Franklin of Texas A&M. And the kick is good. So he is three shy of Franklin with two and a half games still left on Georgia's schedule. 24-yard kick, 9.38 to go third quarter. Georgia now up by 7, 17 to 10. Mark Dickert to do the punting. Dickert's done a good job. This has been one area in which Florida has greatly improved. One of the key things for Pell was to find a kicker, and Dicker has certainly filled the bill. High kick, not much distance, however, and Werner crawls for it and makes the fair catch at the 32-yard line, and we've got a penalty flag down. Werner was pointing. Some contact being made in front of Werner. 
Number 53, Rod Brooks. Uh, March the penalty out to the 48. Personal foul, orange team, dead ball foul. Be first and 10. Let's see if we can see it on the left of the screen. Number 53 is going to grab the hit. Fisher, number 31, twist him around. Now he's going to throw him to the ground. Boom. And that's a penalty. And it should be. First down for Georgia from the 28-yard line. Walker slipping to the outside. Puts his head down and picks up about five more yards after he was initially stopped. We're going to see Herschel Walker make maybe his best cut of the ball game. Think to move. You don't teach this. Well, we are picking up pass, and he goes on down the boundary. But he made an instinctive move that got him clear into the secondary for the first down. On 29 carries, give it to the fullback, Jimmy Womack, and another penalty marker is down at the 32-yard line. Yep. Another penalty against the Gators. Down on this particular mm. drive, out. so watch out. First down from the 18-yard line. Walker. Looking inside, there goes Herschel, and he gets the first down and nearly the touchdown. Well, watch his patience. Patience, patience will come, success will come your way, who will persevere. Watch him hesitate. Let the blocking develop and then explode, accelerate all the way to the four-yard line. Second and goal from the three-yard line. Walker looking for room, puts his head down, and they stop him again, this time at the two-yard line. Stewart in motion. Ballou trying to get back, and he stopped again. It's David Little, number 51, who stops Ballou. Always been looking for the pass. Instead, he turned up and tried to run and couldn't make it. Rex Robinson should be an easy one for him, 20-yard field goal, and no problem. So the clock stopped with 3.58 remaining in the third quarter of Jacksonville. It's Georgia 20 and Florida 10. We'll be right back. Eclipsing Willie McClendon's old mark, and he might add a couple here as Virgil takes it out to the 31-yard line. Man has, and you don't see anybody like this. And, and coaches maybe one time in a lifetime, if that. Daryl Royal and Freddie Aker shared uh, Earl Campbell, which was he was about 230, and ran a, maybe a 9-6 or something like that. But yeah. I think this is the most phenomenal thing that I've seen in college football in a long, long time. And he's a fine young man to go with a lot of poise, as we've seen on our telecast. Uh, Kick it away. John L. Brown back to Florida. The rush is on, but he gets it away. And this is Curry now, back at his own 20-yard line with no blocking. And, of course, that's what happens when you send everybody in. And a fumble. Georgia thinks they have it, but I think it was blown dead. It was. First down from the 19-yard line. Tyrone Young goes in motion. He's throwing. Finds Young. And they run him out of bounds at the 29-yard line with seven seconds remaining in the third quarter. James Jones will take it out to the 34, and then they'll switch sides. Third down and five. Gators at their own 35-yard line. Peace, quick in to Young. Breaks a tackle and made the one away. He's got one man to beat. Cuts back in. And Werner gets him at the 11-yard line. To come back and get the angle on it. It's a little quick pass. Georgia has no one covered in front of him. But the important thing is that Tyrone Young is the second best runner on this field. That is a sensational run for a wide receiver. He's already made four key first downs in the ball game. Watch him make people miss it, turn on the speed, and very close to a touchdown. 54 yards and first and 10 from just outside the 10. And it's Jones, and he's in for the touchdown. And young in motion. Peace has a man open, and they get the two. Tyrone Young, number 10, who made the big play on this drive and goes in for the two-point conversion. Watch the pattern now for Florida. He is able to get around the blitzing 
Strong safety. Watch how wide open Tyrone Young is, and he makes a great effort for the two-point play, and we'll be right back with a score, 20-18. to 20-18, to Georgia. Tyrone Young going in for the two-point conversion. Can you believe that Tyrone Young, you talk about a star being born, he had never caught a pass in his Florida career until today. Momentum with momentum. Second and eight from the 35-yard line. Ballou, nice protection, throws it to Walker, but he falls down at the 37-yard line. One of his favorite targets, Amp Arnold, out with a knee injury in the first half. Third and seven, it's Walker again, and they stop him at the 35-yard line. And the Florida partisans are going wild. Their own 24-yard line, first and ten. Tyrone Young in motion. Peace. Turns it up to the 32-yard line. Jones through the middle, out to the 39-yard line. Harvard leading William and Mary at the half. Young moving again. Peace having a lot of trouble here, but scrambles out and throws as a man open at the 48-yard line. And complete there to Chris Collinsworth. Cross all the way over from this side, number 21, crossing over and he's coming, going to come back to the pass, and when he sees P start scrambling, get right there, come back and catch that ball. Critical play for young Wayne Peace and Chris Collinsworth. Florida trailing by two. Peace tries to sneak ahead for the first down, and it's going to be close. Second and eight at the Georgia 49-yard line. Peace going complete to the 30-yard line. Tyrone Young. Scott Werner made the catch. Tyrone Young has now caught eight passes and for one extra for the two-point conversion. The total inside, he's being picked up by linebacker Ross, number 48, but he works inside, and the throw is absolutely perfect. Warner, number 19, finally brings Tyrone Young down. down but please, you cannot believe what this young Pierce boy is doing. They're threatening to beat the number two team in the nation part and Young's reception. First down, and it's Jones pulling his way to the 26-yard line. Third down, a long four for Florida. He's throwing, and it's knocked down. Incomplete. The play made by Nate Taylor, number 47, one of the linebackers, Frank. Yes, pass. Number 47 is going to jump and knock the ball down. Now we have the critical field goal situation. Spotted at the 30-yard line. Snap is good. The kick is long enough. The kick is good. The Florida Gators, who did not win a game in 1979, are trying to win their seventh of 1980. They lead Georgia by one. Before Brown was that time. First and 15. Picks it to Walker. Nothing doing. Florida is just sky high right now. Bradley Pell, what a turnaround, and he had his work. Ballou, deep again, intended for Scott, double covered and incomplete, and Georgia has to kick it away. They will have already defeated Georgia, will have already defeated Mississippi State, which would be the key there, because Mississippi State could still get in. Having And let's see what Peace does. He throws a quick end to Young, and Young has the first down of the 44-yard line. <laughs> so he, he was being tackled, but he stayed from the 48-yard line. He's looking, throwing to the 38, and incomplete. At the 38, I do believe, or are they going to call it complete in the fumble out of bounds? That's what they're going to call it. He made the catch and lost the ball out of bounds. On power, uh, get power Young getting open. He catches the ball, and he gets hit by two defenders, mainly uh, Scott Warner, number 19. But the throw was sensational, as you can see. Just And the ball is complete, but goes out of bounds. Oh, he called it down. I'm sorry. He called it down. At the 36-yard line, James Jones and Doug Kellum are the running backs. And Peace 
will get racked up back at the 40 yard line. Tim Crow was the man who buried him back there. Dickert to punt. Werner is going to let it fly. And it goes out of bounds at the eight yard line. So a beauty. With a minute 35 remaining in the game. 135 left. Vince Dooley has to see his team. Of course, they don't have to go 92 yards when you have to go in the game. Buck Ballou. Scrambling out now. All the receivers recovered and stopped the clock by getting out of bounds. At the seven yard line with 125 remaining. So then Georgia had everything going for their, in their way. Ballou. Third down. Forced out of the pocket again. Throwing. Has a man open. 30, Scott to the 40 yard line, to the 50, Lindsey Scott to the 30, to the 20, can you believe that? Because the receivers were all covered, he's in the end zone. Watch him scramble over the left. That's the advantage of having mobile. Then he directs traffic. Now here's where the excitement comes. You can see the tremendous speed of Lindsey Scott as he takes sailing down the field. Could not be caught by any of the Florida secondary, but he picked up a block from someone, and I believe it was Jones. Let's see if this view gives us an idea right here somebody coming from the left is going to free him and blocking the safety man let's see if he is the hero coming right to the right of your screen number one jones is the man who sprung lindsey scott all the way for the touchdown 93 yards when all was lost now it looks like all is won what else can you say oh it's uh, been incredible charlie pell here's his reaction the florida coach Disbelief. Had just taken his last time out to set up this two-point conversion attempt. Ballou throwing into the end zone and overshooting the intended receiver, Scott. But that may be academic. We'll see. 26-21 the past couple of years. Lindsey Scott. If our next game's coming up, Stanford and Southern Cal and Florida State and Virginia Tech. 186 yards today. First down from the 36 yard line. Over the middle. And intercepted at the 45 yard line by Mike Fisher. And he gets to the 36, and that should wrap it up. Spires here in Jacksonville. And this storied rivalry. They've got another chapter. And it's going to take several pages to cover when they write about this one. Vince Dooley coming over to try to find Charlie Pell. There they are. Well, I tell you, that Pell has done some job in Florida. They lost today, but 0 10 and 1 last year, and to come that close to upsetting the number two ranked Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia, meanwhile, now 5 0 in the conference. They've got their reservations to New Orleans for New Year's Day. All they have to do next week is to beat Auburn and, of course, hope that LSU loses to Alabama today. Final score, 26-21, to 21, the Bulldogs.